The 13 year old boy that police say caused a deadly crash in Woodland will remain in custody. That teen making his first court appearance today. He faces 13 charges for his alleged role in that crash that killed two people, including a four year old girl and 43 year old Tina Vital. Fox 40's Joanna Shaddix joins us uh, now live tonight after speaking with Vital's family. Ro, how was that family coping tonight? Well, Eric, they say that it is their faith in God and also the love and support from family and friends that have brought them this far. They have been spending lots of time here at UC Davis, keeping vigil at the bedside of their loved ones, just praying that they pull through. This was the last picture taken of 43-year-old Tina Vital and her four-year-old granddaughter, Adelina Perez. It was taken at a cousin's celebration of life in Vacaville on Saturday. Just a couple of hours later, Tina would be killed in a crash after police say a 13-year-old boy in a stolen car fleeing from officers collided with her and another vehicle near downtown Woodland. Adelina, or Addie as family called her, died early this morning after suffering traumatic injuries from the accident. When we heard that, it's just, you burst out into tears. The same day, the teen suspected of causing their deaths and injuring 10 others was in Yolo Superior Court, where he pleaded innocent to 13 charges, including two felony counts for murder and vehicular manslaughter. We do want justice. If you're gonna play adult games, recording yourself, doing such reckless activity, you need and you hurt somebody you need to pay for that that's just fair you know we're not looking for gosh you know anything unfair we just want what want what is right you know to be done you know we're not a vengeful family we're not a hateful family uh, we just want what justice simple justice following the arraignment family members reacted to the teen brought into court in a wheelchair and wearing a neck brace i hear him coming out in a wheelchair with a neck brace that's BS. That's he's playing that part because he wants to. Oh, everybody feels sorry for him. No, I'm not asking for people to feel sorry for us. Just please, you know, like uh, he needs to be where he's at right now. He deserves that. Family says their loved ones certainly didn't deserve to suffer this tragedy. She was just a good mother, just doing what all mothers do, all grandmothers do, all sisters would do. When you need them, they're there. She was a loving, caring person. And Addie, she was just full of life, you know, just a child, you know, just running around, loving, letting everybody hug her, kiss her, and, ah, you know, giggly, bubbly, laughing. And if you would like to help these family, they have set up two separate GoFundMe accounts. You can find those links by going to this web story at fox40.com. Reporting live in Sacramento tonight, covering local news that matters, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News. Ro, thank